Hey, what's good folks? DF me here from the dad vlog, helping you celebrate the simple and appreciate the everyday. Last time we spoke, I sat right here in this very chair with this very create dope human shirt on, by the way. <laughs> And I shared that my wife left for a week and the complete functionality of the entire home was left on my shoulders. And a week is not to be golfed at, it is a long time when kids are involved. Take a look at the first few days, or as one of the uh, followers on Instagram page said, <laughs> the first 48. I'll take that too. I said, I'll take that too. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you crying? So why is your hoodie tucked in your shorts? Go to the potty. No, we're not there yet. You, you don't need these. Just go, just go. No, 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 it's okay. No, no, you don't want these problems. Trust me. Go to the potty. Try this one. Come on, man. Right. Can you put this back? But it, what do you mean? No. Yeah, and that was nuts, and food was also a very big deal. I'm not the best cook, and we were trying to introduce gluten-free foods to reduce the eczema flare-ups that Taj was experiencing. You know, it wasn't received as well as I would have hoped. All right, so we got this right here, some uh, gluten-free waffles we're gonna try. I got, I got some gluten-free pancakes for you. Gluten-free? What's gluten-free? Gluten-free means there's no wheat in it. What's wheat? Wheat. We took the gluten out of that, that waffle. Why? Hmm. I want muffins. You can't, you can't have these muffins. I want to. These muffins are not gluten free. I know. I, I want muffins to be gluten free. These are not gluten free. This I is know. gluten free. This is for you to eat. But I want to eat this, but, but because This got I gluten in it. Huh? This has gluten in it. I know, I love gluten. <laughs> eat some more, just eat a little bit more of your, your paint, your waffles. You said it tastes good. I have no idea what we're going to do. Big eater. <laughs> Waffles. T A S T E. Like D A R D B O A R D. I think one thing that I did not prepare myself for was the amount of entertaining that I had to do. Oh, and by the way, entertaining a four year old, way different than entertaining a one year old. I try to reduce screen time, but you know, if it's an important situation, I can throw ties in front of the iPad in case things get a little crazy. Aaliyah, she don't care about no iPad, no TV, no nothing. She requires sweat equity. Then to top it off, I have to do Taj's hair. Now this may sound simple, but I've literally never done anybody's hair ever. I mean, I helped Rachel, you know, take out some of her braids, but she's like coaching me and guiding me through it. And not the same with natural hair, not the same at all. And I didn't even think that I would ever have to do my son's hair. So we were talking about multiple brain situations happening here. <laughs> it took about three hours to detangle all of that hair. It was night night for me after that. Whew. Man, man, was I just glad when Rachel walked through the door and believe me, she couldn't get through that door fast enough. <laughs> Wife, you're home, you're home, you're home. <laughs> she wants you so badly. Hey, there you go. This one wants you so badly. No, 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 just go ahead. Stay up there. Why do you feel like you ain't got no underwear on? Good job. Do you have underwear on? Just say, uh, nope, he ain't got no underwear on. <laughs> Ain't had it on all week. <laughs> now I knew this week would be challenging, but what I didn't know is just how my perspective around the mental state of single parents and the actual just pure mental capacity of single parents would evolve and mature so much. You ever tried to park in Atlanta? Don't ever, festival. don't ever try to do it again. Actually, don't even go to that festival. You think you're gonna go have a good time with your family? But parking is an hour of your time. And then you have you have this. But it's great to have everybody back. At least I ain't got to do it by myself. Get me out this car. Huh? 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 At least it's not just me. 
As soon as Rachel said she was leaving, I had tons of plans. I was going to take them out to the playground, museums, go out to eat a few times. Just We was going to spend life just doing all types of activities. And man, I just... <laughs> I just tapped out, bro. Like, geez, I, I literally felt like I didn't have the energy after the day was half over. And I didn't have the help of Rachel or anyone else to, you know, kind of divide and conquer. There was a bunch of stuff that I even wanted to do for myself, like when the kids went to bed, but I was just exhausted. Shoot, I went to bed with them. <laughs> but if I put myself in the shoes of a full time single parent or in a co-parenting situation, I can only imagine the amount of mental fortitude and intentionality that is required. If you're a single parent, every task is dependent upon the last. If you get off work late, you may pick the kids up a little bit late, which means dinner may be a little bit late, which means they may be a little bit cranky, which means you got to exert more energy to accommodate that crankiness, which means that may adjust some of the things that you thought that you were going to do for yourself to help your own mental state, your own self care. And if you don't want that stuff to happen, then you have to spend days before prepping and making sure things are in line. And that's just a lot. That's just a lot on one person. I left this experience with a little bit better understanding of what single parents go through mentally. And I feel like that should be highlighted more and talked about more. So if there are any single parents watching this episode, I appreciate how intentional you guys are. I appreciate the amount of mental fortitude that you possess and the sacrifices that you make on a very regular and day-to-day -day basis, how you put your kids first or whoever you're taking care of first before yourself, because that takes a lot of mental focus. And I learned that this week. need to go no wives no kids just the guys no mosquitoes mountains trees some place to be able to just clear my head from this week of of uh, toddlerism <laughs> i'm d anthony from the dad vlog helping you celebrate the simple and appreciate the everyday if you appreciate this kind of content you can grab one of our create dope human shirts in the link below or simply just like and subscribe